Hello everyone! Welcome back to my channel. If you are new here, hi! My name is Nicole Concilio and welcome! Today we are going to be reviewing the new Tarte Cosmetics Clay Stick Foundation. Now this was sent to me in PR, so I do have a lot of shades here. So after the product is officially launched, I will be giving away some of the shades that aren't for me. So stay tuned for that. I've had the privilege of using these products for a little bit over a month now and I, guys when I tell you, I have not tried a better stick foundation. They totally hit the nail on the head with this one. And no, this is not a sponsored video. This is 100% my thoughts, my opinions, my views, my whatevers, my beliefs. So yeah. So this is what the product looks like. It is a stick foundation. On the top you have this really cool like tiger's eye. It kind of reminds me of like tiger's eye, like marbling or, or like wood marbling. There's about 0.32 ounces or nine grams in this foundation stick. This is it rolled all the way up. You know, it feels luxurious. It doesn't feel like it's made of crap or anything like that. I was actually part of the campaign Slay with Clay down in Florida with Tarte, so that's really exciting. Stay tuned for that. I really, really love the coverage on this. I love the formula. There are some tricks that I have that might make it easier for you guys, so I'm gonna share those with that. I know there were a bunch of questions about this foundation, whether or not it's good for dry skin, oily skin, combination skin. I have your answers. Okay, honey. Nick made banana bread and bought me a slice. He's the best. He's the best. Also, don't mind this pimple. Oh my god, it has its own orbit. It was way worse this morning. Thank god Yoli came and fixed it. But I'm going to start off with a little bit of primer like I normally would. This is the Smashbox Photo Finish Primer, my favorite. So I'm just going to pat this on the skin and then blend everything out. To put a little on my neck because, you know, just for good luck. So as I let my primer dry, I'm gonna read to you some of the things that the foundation says in the PR box that I received. So number one, it's quick and concentrated on the go. It's all you need. 100% agree with that. The foundation does dry down very quickly, which is very important, especially for a stick foundation. Stick foundations are also really easy to travel with, which is why I tend to gravitate more to the stick foundation and I just feel like they just sit well on my skin. Full coverage. Yes, I would have to agree with that. You can make this as full coverage as you would like to. So I will show you that as a technique that I like to do. It's good for you, definitely 100%. You guys know Tarte, one of the main reasons why I love them so much and just stand for them is because of how natural and amazing their ingredients are. So I actually found out when I was in Florida with Chart that their Amazonian clay is basically found at the Amazon rivers, like the banks of the Amazon rivers, and scooped up into a foundation form, and it's actually really nutrient rich for your skin and all that jazz. So I thought that that was really, really cool. And it is a well-balanced foundation, and by that they mean it's smooth, you can make it matte or hydrating depending on your skin type. This is also a 12-hour foundation, and I 100% have to agree with that. While I was using this in Florida, and y'all know the humidity in Florida is no joke. It is no joke, okay? Getting any foundation to stick in Florida is just, is a miracle. The fact that this literally lasted from nine in the morning till almost 10 o'clock midnight, that's amazing for me, especially since like I am so animated when I talk, I crease constantly, so that is really bomb. That's something to definitely take into consideration if you are looking for a long wear foundation. I also find that is very, very comfortable. So there are a couple of ways you can apply this. Of course, you can apply it directly to your face, which is the method that I like to use the most. But I will tell you a little trick for those of you who do have dry skin. I like to add a little bit of the Rainforest of the Sea Radiance Drops to the actual foundation stick blend that in and it makes it so creamy. That's like my little trick I like to do. Also, as far as like if it's good for oily or dry or whatever, honestly, I would say it's really great for all skin types because you can really play with the formula. Like you can add an oil to it to hydrate it a little bit more. You can add powder and it'll look gorgeous. It does dry down to a powder, which is gonna be amazing for those of you who do have oily skin. So I would say this is very universal in its type. 
So I'm gonna apply it first without using the radiance drops, just to show you guys. So that's one swipe. And I'm using the color medium beige because I do have a little bit of a tan still from Florida. You can see it applies amazingly. This is just one side of my face. You can even use this as like a little bit of a primer. And then what I'm gonna do next is apply the drops, which, hello, this is a new product too. This is what this puppy looks like. You can shake it up, it has a little bit of shimmer in it. And you literally only need one drop of this. So, beep. And then just kind of like rub it in and you will see how creamy this stuff gets. Bam! I love that you can play around with the formula so much, you know, like that means a lot to me, especially because my skin, you know, it varies. Some days it'll be super dry and then other days it'll be normal. So I never know what I'm gonna get. Oof, cover up that pimple. So it applies very, very beautifully. This is how I would normally apply a stick foundation. You guys know I've been using stick foundations on my channel for a very long time now. Another thing you can do is use the radiance drops on your beauty blender to just add even more hydration. So I'm just going to do that right now and then just blend this sucker out. It's very easy to blend. It doesn't dry to the powder form too quickly, which is also important to point out. I tend to always be dry on my forehead and nose the most. I don't know if you guys who have dry skin experience that as well. So I know if a foundation looks good on my nose and my forehead that it's a good foundation. <laughs> okay, so this is half of the face done and half of the face not done and you can already see it kind of gives you that airbrush effect. It almost looks as if you have a Snapchat filter on, you know, like the, the nice one. The one that gives you a complex. <laughs> And this is actually good that I have a pimple this video. <laughs> so you can see like the coverage is really good. It gets rid, of course there's still a bump there. We can never get rid of that. But it did get rid of the redness and all that ugly discoloration around it. So this is just one layer of the foundation and it is just so stunning. Like I'm not kidding when I say that this is my new favorite foundation. Like it is amazing. It blows every other stick foundation out of the water. And the cool thing about this is you can add as many layers as you want to this foundation and it won't get cakey or anything like that. You can build up the coverage. So for example, if you want to get even more coverage, just go back in, add in some more of the stick in the spots that you want and just blend her out again. So if you are someone who isn't a fan of like the full, full coverage, you definitely don't have to do this step, but I'm just showing you guys that it is buildable and very easy to work with. This is what the foundation looks like after we applied two kind of like coats to it. And it's also formulated without parabens and all that bad shit, formulated without talc, all that other garbage <laughs> that is not good for your skin. I just love the way that it makes my skin look. Like, you know, it looks really, really flawless and just like fresh and natural. All right, you guys, so this is the finished look. This is how the foundation looks under all of my makeup. And I have to say, like, honestly, I'm so truly impressed. It's so lightweight. I don't feel like anything's on my face. It's super full coverage. It feels so comfortable. It isn't drying. It's not too matte. It's not too dewy it is literally the perfect combination for a stick foundation i've ever tried once again tarte does it i don't know how they keep doing it but they do i don't even want to sound vain but i keep looking at myself in the monitor and i'm like oh okay leave me a comment below if you guys have any more questions i will try to answer as many as i can all of the new slay with clay products will be available on tarte.com may 21st so mark it on your calendars you can even use a darker shade to contour with. All right, guys, make sure you subscribe to my channel, and I will see you next time. Bye.